Hi friends, it's been a bit of a rough uh, weekend uh, given what's in the news and lots of conflicted feelings for me and for the Hancock House in general. And honestly, I've struggled with how to come back with a vlog this week because I've been off for the last couple of weeks maybe three weeks because of schedule stuff and life stuff and ministry stuff and a variety of things. And I usually do a vlog about the lectionary readings of the previous Sunday, if it comes on, up on Monday. Um, but I really didn't know how to do that today. So I just want to remind us to be human today and that the main commandment Christ gives us is to love God <clears throat> above all others and love our neighbors as ourselves. And I certainly have opinions and they're nuanced and complex <clears throat> about both the news that came out on Friday from the Supreme Court and the, the chaos going on in my own church. But <clears throat> I am called to remember today that the only thing I can do is love with mercy and compassion all those that I run into throughout my day. And as I hear the news talk about trigger laws and talk about uh, terms like abortion tourism and women's rights and pro-life things, I can't help but think of that all of these terms, regardless of what side of certain issues you sit on, reduce us to these caricatures of real people. <clears throat> so what I am seeking to do in the next couple of minutes, or in the couple of minutes I have with you today, is remember when Jesus ran into broken people, he told the Pharisees not to cast the first stone at a woman caught in adultery. He let a broken hearted woman wipe her tears away from his feet with her hair with the utmost compassion when those in charge wanted to reduce her and shame her into an economic value. <clears throat> So I invite you to pray from a position of mercy today and say something kind and gentle and loving to a stranger who you happen to run into. Give somebody a hug if they're comfortable with a hug. Smile at somebody. Remember that we're human and we have to share this planet. And we have a God that loves us regardless of what decision we make. The cross took care of the ultimate decision. The cross gives us room to debate the morality and the centrality of certain issues because we do it under grace and out of love. <clears throat> if you want to hear my nuanced opinions and views of what happened on Friday, Rebecca and I, my good friend, will be doing a podcast for the first time in several weeks dealing with the nuances of that issue. But I just remind us 
what Jesus' posture towards us all is. And it's, we are all the least of these. And we are all in need of love. And we must all love God with our whole hearts and our neighbors as ourselves. I'm heartbroken for everybody on both sides of the issue. It only gets more complex from here. Thank God we have a God of grace. See you guys. Thanks.